4.5 dilations. A dilation is a transformation in which a figure is enlarged or reduced with respect to a fixed point C called the center of dilation. And the scale factor is called K. K is the ratio of the lengths of the corresponding sides of the image and the pre-image. So it's the length of the image to the pre-image. So if we take a look at this picture right here, what we would do is we would do this length from C to C prime, the image related to the pre-image. So that's this length, CP. So you do the image uh, divided by, that's a division symbol, divided by CP. So you would do CP prime divided by CP, the length. You divide the lengths from each other. So you go to the prime image, the image, and then you divide it by the regular one, the original. When the scale factor is a K greater than one, so we're talking about anything that's a whole number that's bigger than one, it makes an enlargement. Gets larger. When K is between zero and one, and that's the fractions and decimals, So when you're working with fractions and decimals, the dilation is a reduction. So it says find the scale factor of the dilation, then tell whether the dilation is a reduction or an enlargement. You can look at the picture and decide whether it's a reduction or enlargement, but you have to pay attention to who is P and who is P prime. So here's our original image P, and here's our P prime. We can see that it's getting larger, but we need to find the scale factor. So recall, you do the length from the center to your prime image first, so C to C prime, which is 12, divided by the length of your original, from C to P, your original, eight. We can reduce that to three halves, or 1.5, whichever you prefer. This number is larger than one, so this is an enlargement. <clears throat> How about letter B? <clears throat> P prime, C to P prime is 18. Divided by C to P, you can see here from P to P prime, our image is getting smaller. So 18 divided by 30, and we can reduce that to three fifths, which is gonna be you know, a decimal. We can just leave it as a fraction and this is for sure a reduction. <clears throat> okay, there is a coordinate rule for if the dilation is coming from the center, that's the only from the origin. So say you're trying to dilate something from the origin, the, the middle of your coordinate grid. The rule is that you take each coordinate point and multiply it by the scale factor. There's really a little multiplication symbol in between that K and X. <clears throat> so if you want to go from 0, 0, you do K times X and K times Y. You just multiply each coordinate point by your scale factor. So here's our example 2. Graph ABC with vertices 2, 1, 4, 1 and four negative one. And we would like to make this image after a dilation of a scale factor of two. So this number is larger than one, so this is gonna be an enlargement. We're gonna get bigger. So we take each coordinate point and multiply it by two. So A prime, two times two is four, one times two is two. B prime, four times two is eight, 1 times 2 is 2. C prime, 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And then we can plot our image for 2, A prime, 8, 2, 
B prime, and 8, negative 2, C prime. So we made an enlargement of triangle ABC. You can also see that the enlargement is a scale factor of 2 by looking at the slope lengths. So if you do up 1 over 2 from the center, you go up 1 over 2 to A. That's a, you know, up 1 over 2. And then you just do that again to get to your A prime up 1 over 2. So this length is twice as big as it originally was. So the scale factor of two, meaning that you go out uh, from the center two lengths. All right, let's take a look at a reduction. Graph quadrilo quadrilateral KLMN. K is at negative three, six. And then uh, 0, 6, 3, 3, and negative 3, negative 3. And we'd like to make this a reduction by a scale factor, our k, of one third. So when you're thinking about multiplying by something by one third, you can also think about this as division by three. So you're taking each coordinate point and dividing it by three. So K prime, negative three divided by negative three. Three divided by three is one, but it's negative one. Six divided by three is two. Zero divided by three is zero. Three, um, six divided by three is two. M prime, three divided by three is one. Three divided by three is one. N prime, negative three divided by three is negative one. Negative three divided by three is negative one. So then we've got negative one, two, 0, 2, 1, 1, and negative 1, negative 1. So we've reduced the size of this quadrilateral by a third. Sample number 4. <clears throat> Graph triangle FGH with vertices negative 4, negative 2. Negative 2, 4, and negative 2, negative 2. So this was F, G, H. And we'd like to graph it after its image with a scale factor of negative 1 half. So again, you can think about this as divide by 2. But we're also multiple, or we're dividing by a negative two is really essentially what's happening because we want this um, to be a negative k. So k is negative one half. So then each of our prime images, we're going to divide by negative two. So f prime, negative four divided by negative two is a positive two. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a positive 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a positive 1. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a positive 1. And negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a positive 1. And then the question here says, what do we notice about the image that's created? So we're going to find out there's something special that's going to happen. So if we get 2, 1, that's F prime, 1, negative 2, G prime, and 1, 1. And we can see that the image is rotated. So not only is it reduced by 2, or reduced by a half, 
but it's also rotated so the image flips. All right, a word problem. You're making your own photo stickers. Your photo is four inches by four inches. That's this larger one. The image of the sticker is 1.1 inches by 1.1. So we're making a sticker, a smaller image. So what is the scale factor K of this dilation? So we know for sure that this K is going to be a fraction or a decimal because we want to make this smaller. We want to make this a reduction. So that means that our answer, our K, needs to be a fraction or a decimal. So K equals, you always do your image first. Your image goes on top. And on bottom goes your original. So our image is 1.1 divided by 4. Uh, it doesn't need to reduce any more than that. This is the scale factor. 1.1 to 4. An optometrist dilates the pupils of a patient's eyes to get a better look at the back of the eyes. The pupil dilates from 4.5 millimeters to 8 millimeters. What is the scale factor K of this dilation? So in this case, we're trying to get larger. So this is going to be an enlargement. So I know that my, um, my fraction needs to turn into a whole number, so the larger number needs to be on top. So K equals your image over your, your original. So your image is going to be the 8, and your original is going to be 4.5, and 8 to 4.5 is your scale factor. Thank you.